I'm sending my warmest wishes to everyone at tonight's IFTA. I'm sorry I'm not able to join you, but I want to give a special thanks to the APPG on British Muslims for the brilliant work that you do to highlight issues affecting British Muslims and celebrate their achievements. Your work on the definition of Islamophobia has been exemplary. As leader of the Labour Party, I am utterly committed to eradicating Islamophobia from my party and from society. And I want to particularly note your recent report on the devastating impact of COVID on Muslim communities. After this awful year, there is now finally light at the end of the tunnel. And I want to thank Muslim communities who've contributed so much in the fight against COVID. From key workers to countless volunteers and community leaders in mosques and community centres across the country. You've given up your time and opened your doors, supporting the delivery of the vaccine and looking out for the most vulnerable. Your efforts have saved lives and kept the country going. Just as Muslims have been at the heart of the response to the pandemic, I know that Muslims will be at the heart of the recovery. And the recovery must tackle the inequalities and injustices that COVID has brutally exposed. Working together, we can create a fairer country. Ramadan Mubarak, I hope you have a reflective and uplifting month.